Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is one where we have both qualitative and quantitative data. For example, here we have a design for tire tread and the stopping distance, and we're going to compare the stopping distance to each of the four types of tire tread. We're also graphing it in two different ways, using the dot plot and a box and whisker plot. And notice that we're starting at zero at the bottom here to give you a nice relative comparison between the two or between the four different kinds of tires. Now, the detail seems to be a little bit lost in the graph. That's because things seem to be kind of scooted together. But it gives you a better realistic picture. If we had only graphed this portion of the graph and made it a lot bigger, we could see the detail better, but it would give us a wrong idea because then you think that one tire performs way better than another tire and you can see here that in general the four tires they approximately uh, perform about the same now there are some differences and let's take a look at some of those differences notice that when we look at the tire D that the performance is very close together. In other words, they did six trials and the stopping distance was virtually the same for all six. You can see that if you draw the box and whisker plot, that this box is very tiny. That means there's very little difference between the first and the, and the third quartile. If you look at this here, there's a lot of variation and there seems to be some skewing to the bottom portion. In other words, four out of the six tires perform about the same, but those two are well, we can't really call them outliers because it's two out of six. That's one third of all the data set. So you can see that for tire type C, some cases you have a very large stopping distance. And in many cases you have a very short stopping distance. That also means that the mean or the median line is very close to the first quartile and far away from the third quartile to give that indication as well. On tire B, you can see that it's kind of an even distribution, which means that the median line is about in the middle of your box and that you have the same size whiskers on both sides. And you can see that this, the distribution of the points and the dots are about the same there as well. And finally for A, you can see that they tend to cluster a little bit near the top, farther spread near the bottom. You can see that the median line is closer to the third quartile instead of the first quartile, you can see that the whisker is a little bit short on top of them compared to the bottom. So that's how you can see the distribution of data points and the box and whisker diagrams or box plots. They can give you a pretty good idea of how the data is distributed. Of course, if you're looking for a consistent performance, definitely tire D. But if you look for the best stopping performance, if you look at the median right here, it looks like tire C will give you the best stopping distance, but it's not consistent through all the tires of that type. So maybe we need to look at the manufacturing process. So that's how you interpret the data, but at least we get a nice example where we can have one data being qualitative and one data being quantitative. And that is how it's done.